I just wanted to share with you that I'm what I'm doing here. I've got my little Lazy Susan underneath here. And this is a, cro a water crock you're probably familiar with. You see these in the thrift stores and uh, that's, I think that's where I probably got this one. It's in perfectly good shape. It's a nice piece of pottery, but it also will make a beautiful lamp. And it's got the hole for the cord right here. It's got, I've got this, it's a six and five eighths size disc that fits almost perfectly on here. And then I got this special spade bit and that's a three eighths inch to drill the hole. I've got my lamp socket and cord. Oh, <laughs> there's a hole in the bag. I've got the lamp parts that will go in here and the cord will go through the fitting and all the washers and the various nuts that we need. These felt pads to go on the bottom when I'm finished. And next thing I have is oh, more paper, some decoupage paper. I've got these. I don't know if I'll use the flowers or not, but it's got some script up there. I've got scissors. And the idea, I got this from Anthropology. I saw a lamp on um, in Anthropology that had the script. It was so beautiful. It was more of a squared shape. But I've always wanted to make this. So I ordered these from L&J Goods. This is the Monahan paper. And I'm going to be putting that on the front of the lamp. So going to be decoupaged and then we'll make a lamp and we'll add a shade. Okay, so I got some water for my brush. I like to keep my brush wet. I've got a mat, a plastic mat down here, which I like to keep things on. And then I've got some extra paper towels. I'll just tear a couple off and keep them here close by. I've got my Mod Podge. This is the matte Mod Podge and a little yogurt cup that I'm gonna pour some into. And I'm gonna make sure that I remember this is the back. So here I'm on the front. Let's see, yep, this is the front. And what I'm going to do first off is I'll just start placing, in fact, I think I'll start at the back and I'll start decoupaging some papers on there. And I thought what I would do first is get this wet. like I did before so that I can tear it easily. So it tears away fairly easily. And I just had a thought, it might even help to get the paper a little bit wet because it'll be much more pliable and easy to manage. But that could also cause more tears. So I'm just going to put strips like this on to start. And I think at some point, I'm going to speed this up. So I'm going to decoupage that on, and that's where I'm gonna start with strips. A good portion I'm putting in there to start out. I'll just start on the side here. And I'm, today I'm not painting this white. We're gonna see what it looks like if I just Place this on here.
I'm just smoothing it down with the wet brush before we go to the next section. If you're doing if you're doing this, you may want to get all your pieces ready before you get started. So basically what I'm going to do is apply various documents around all of the sides. I may throw some flowers in if I run out of the documents. But um just going to do this, get it wet like this. So it has a rough edge. Just like that. It's that curvy part that's gonna be kind of a challenge. So we'll see how we can address that as we go around. I'm just going to work with my hands. I don't see the stripe. This stripe is not coming through, so I think we're good just leaving it, not painting it, not painting it white. So I'm just going to kind of do a patchwork around this whole thing with different various documents and pictures like that. If I have to find some newspaper or something or some old sheet music I may, but um, that's basically what I'm going to do. I had to get some more paper, but um, I put this on here to show you. There's the hole. So I just made the hole for the lamp, put some random paper on the back, and uh, oh, this is the first time I've done this, so I'm, I'm not feeling real confident, but of course you gotta buck up and do it anyway, right? So I did. I do have another one of these. I thought I like that one too, but I thought it would be too dark. So I decided to go with the turquoise, and I hope to make another one. So I have another turquoise as well. But um, I started. I did put it on. I just did the water all the way around it. And this is how it's starting to look. And then these edges, I'll have to go around and make sure that they're down and everything. But right now, I'm just gonna keep adding bits and pieces to the back until it's all filled up with just this uh, script, like this. Okay, so I'll show you that when it's done. And just one more tip. To, if you have a, just a brush specifically like I have a brush in water and it's easier with paper that anyway not especially with napkins but with paper it thins it out I like to take those sharp edges off and it softens it so even So let's say I'm going to put this here, and the re that's filming with my iPad, so I don't have a good angle. But I just want to show you kind of what I'm doing. So I'm just laying them across randomly, kind of a patchwork style. And then if if your paper is too hard and not bending. You can wet your paper like this. This is just water on the brush and wet it down and it helps it helps it to soften up and smooth out with less work. So I think that'll help a lot. Of course the, the Mod Podge is designed to do that also, but this um, That technique really helps if you just wet it. So then we'll just then you can just take your fingers and smooth out your wrinkles like that. And once it dries, the, the wrinkles will also smooth out a little bit. Of 
Or if you do have the saran wrap, you can go over, go over it with the saran wrap. But I think it's going when it, when it's dry, it's going to be very impactful design in the room and bring a little pop of turquoise or green into the room which my room is a nature theme I'm doing a nature theme and this is for a little Airbnb that we're putting together it's, a, it's an old schoolhouse and so we have a, a very small budget so we're using things we have to upcycle and put this whole place together so I'm going to show you the whole thing when we're all done but right now getting these lamps ready because we need lighting that's a big one is big and so I'm going to just continue on with this don't have much more to go Almost done. It's starting to get a little bit dark out but I just wanted to check in and so I pretty much got the whole thing covered and I'm going to let it dry overnight and we'll see if there's any spots that I missed. So I did put a little bit of floral on the back, but nobody's going to see it because that's where the cord's going to come out. And of course, this, this, this edge here, I'll flip it over and make sure that's all in place. And I'll probably put another paper on the bottom before I add the little felt pieces. So this is it so far. And I do see a place where I missed right here. Part of that blue stripe is showing through. So what I did, I saved a few papers. In fact, I'll probably go ahead and put this on here. And I really found that wetting it like this, wetting the paper, and then tearing it so you don't have these straight edges from the poster, really helps. And I'll probably put that right back here. But so, so far, that is our lamp base. And I think it's gonna make a beautiful lamp. And I got the perfect table to set it on. Since these tend to get a little sticky, it's a good idea to put a baggie over it and close it. Then it'll be much easier to open the next day. And then this side, you're going to stick this makes a neat little loop like that. a hole right here.
Dave, you need help bringing so stuff in? Oh, beautiful. I made it from a crock, a water crock. Oh my gosh, Mom, this is so 